In this tutorial, we're going to create a basic report using Report Mill. So with Report Mill launched, I'll simply click the New button. And this brings up a new template in the familiar page layout paradigm. So we can immediately start creating the page headers and footers directly by drawing them into the page. So I'll simply select the text tool here and I'll drag out a box. And I'll type in my header. And I'll select the text and I'll make it bold and I'll make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to center it horizontally and then in the inspector I'll go ahead and center it vertically. And then I can choose a background color simply by clicking on, on the color or choosing a drop down here. And same thing with a stroke. And I can even bring up the color panel and with a right click we can get a little bit of a gradient. So now we want to add some uh, data aspects. Uh, so in the attributes panel, I'll click on the keys tab and we notice that there's a bunch of built-in keys that we can always get to with the built-ins button. And so I'll go ahead and drag in the date and I will position and size this. And so we notice the keys in report mail are just text boxes. Uh, where the key is surrounded by at signs. And anything inside of the at signs is going to be evaluated when the report is generated. And we can actually have any valid Java expression inside of here. So I'll go ahead and type in some text to the side of that. Today's date is. And I'll go ahead and select that text. And I'll make it uh, bold and a little bigger and a different color. So then similarly, I'll go ahead and drag in some page numbering. So I'll drag in the page of page max key down here at the bottom and I'll center that. And so now if I do a preview, we see a basic report already with a today's date and the page numbering. So where the report starts to get interesting though is where we deal with a data set. And so we have to tell Report Mill what your data set is going to look like inside your Java application. So we need a sample data set in XML. And we'll show you how to generate that in the next tutorial. But currently we have a list of movies here in XML that were conveniently generated uh, from a real data set by Report Mail. And I'll just drag and drop this XML file right into our template. And it gets positioned down in the side there. And I'll bring up the keys panel again. And we notice now that our built-ins have been replaced with uh, the, our data set from the file. And in this case it's just a list of objects and they're actually movies. Uh, and each movie has a title and a studio and a show date and a category. And so I'm going to drag and drop this whole list that's delineated by the double arrows into my template. And instead of creating a text field, this time it recognizes the data set and it says, do you want to create a table, labels, graph, or a cross tab to show multiple objects? And I'll go ahead and choose table and click OK and I get a table template and I'll just position and size this to cover the region of the page that I want uh, my movie data to cover. And so with the table selected, the keys browser is context sensitive. So it, it actually shows us the keys for an individual movie. And so I'll go ahead and drag and drop in the title and the show date and the revenue. And then I'll just drag and drop this last column out of the table. And then I'll resize some of these columns. I'll make revenue smaller and I'll make title bigger. And for the revenue, since it's money, I'll go ahead and align it to the right and choose the dollar formatting. And that's it. So we have our basic table created here and we can hit preview and it goes in and fills in all of the movie objects with the date and the revenue. And when it gets to the bottom of the page, it paginates it across three pages. And if we click the HTML button, we can see what that looks like in our browser. And if we click PDF, we see what it looks like in the platform PDF viewer. So that's a basic report, but from here we can do all the standard reporting things like grouping and sorting. And so I'll start by again with the table selected. Uh, I can choose any attribute of our movie, like the studio or the category. And I'll, I'll take the studio and just drag and drop it into the list of groups. And so this creates a new grouping and it automatically gives us a details row to configure. And so into that details row, I'll go ahead and drag and drop some keys relevant for a studio. So I'll drag in the studio's name here 
and then I actually want to drag and drop in an aggregate key. So I'll navigate just by selecting total and get revenue. We've created an aggregate and it'll show us the total revenue for this group. And so again, I'll drag and drop a couple of these columns out and I'll resize our row here. And the revenue again, I'll align to the right and put money on it. And because this is an upper level grouping, I'll make it a little taller. I'll make the text a little bigger and bolder. And I'll go ahead and select a background color and put a stroke around it. And again, if I do a preview, now we see all the movies have been broken down by their studio. And inside of the studio, we see this, the studio name and the total revenue. So then similarly, I can, I can go back here and I can select uh, our movies, the, the bottom level uh, grouping, and I can drag and drop in some sorts. So we might want to see all the movies uh, sorted by revenue. So I'll just drag and drop revenue into the list of sorts here, and I'll change it from ascending to descending, so we'll see the highest revenues first. And then some of these movies have, a, have the same revenue, so I will resolve that with a backup sort on title. And then additionally, I'll select the studio grouping. And here, I actually want to sort by an aggregate, by the total revenue. I'll drag and drop that in. And again, I'll switch it from ascending to descending. And so now we have a much more sophisticated report. If I hit preview, we see all the movies are broken down by their studio. And inside of the studios, we see the, the total revenue again. We see the most successful studios are now listed first. And inside of each studio, uh, the movies that contributed the most to that success are listed first. And where we have two movies that have the same revenue, they're listed alphabetically. So we now have a template, and all we need to do is save this template, add it to our project, and call Report Mill's three lines of code to generate that report and return it to our client. And so uh, I'll go ahead and show this in HTML again. See what it looks like in the browser. But this is our basic report.